This is episode number 441 of JP Water Cooler. Little plugins, big help. I'm Jason Tucker. You can find me over at jasontucker.blog, and all my links are over there. I'm Say Reed, and I am on the internet all around at Say Reed Media. And y'all know who it is. It's your boy, Jason Cosper, a.k.a. Fat Mullenweg, back at it again on the world's most influential WordPress podcast. Speaking of podcasts, go over to Apple Podcasts, Audible, Google Podcasts, Spotify, wherever it is you listen to podcasts, and hang out with us in our Discord. Hello. How are you folks doing today? Happy New hey. Year! Woohoo! Yeah, it's a new year. New year, new, new year. us. Well, slightly. New us. <laughs> Right. Um, some things are new. Some things are also new, but also um, older. Um, the uh, I, I have two things I want to say before we start the topic. One, if you join our Discord, you can do things like coach me through setting up a better sound system. Like uh, Yos, Yos, not Yos, Hos has been doing in our Discord. So I have my, my headphone in and my microphone on, and I hope that my sound is better. And if you have comments, please join our Discord and bring them because I'm not a hardware person, okay? So this is a hands-on show. Um, you can comment, and you can also help us improve our sound. Uh, okay, so that's one. Say. <laughs> yeah, they're fine, obviously. And then the other thing I wanted to say is I've been uh, presenting, you know, I've been I've been lying to everyone for many years now because I've been having the um, snap filter um, on my computer and enjoying all of its benefits for a couple of years now. And uh, they have killed it as of January 1st, 2023. So I just want all of us who work in technology to consider that technol changes that you make affect people in ways that you wouldn't understand. <laughs> like, you know, part-time podcasters who really don't want to have to do extra work to like look nice in the morning <laughs> and uh, appreciated little services like that. Yep. So, you know, say, you say, as, soon, <laughs> as soon as you get that new computer that you keep talking about, I, um, I, I will I will walk you through setting up continuity camera, which is what I'm working with now. It's uh, gonna happen. It the the blurred background, it, uh, it portrait mode. It makes me uh, look uh, way less hideous than I normally do. So uh, you I know, was I've just, gotta, you know, <laughs> I've got a, I've got a Facebook for technology. podcasting. So yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got trimmed beards. It's 2023. I think it's a great time to. Uh, and this is why I was talking. Why we talked about this. Um, talked about today's topic uh, is not because of snap cam going away, though that is definitely an example of this. Um, but our our very own Jason Cosper released a little plugin last week. The last week. Who was that? Is that guy? No. It's that guy. Huh? Me. I'll never get that right the first time. Uh, I'm pointing at his uh, Brady Bunch box up there. Um, yeah, you you released a plugin. Was it last week? It was week earlier this week. I've been I've been earlier working on I've been working on getting it into the repository. Uh, finally, on Monday, uh, managed to uh, to get it approved over the weekend. Got it uploaded. Like when you make a plugin, uh, there's the whole fun thing of uh, getting access to the subversion and then like even though you've submitted your plugin for approval they're like okay now go ahead and upload the plugin that we already have a copy of but still please upload it and everything else so uh that's did a, all that's that an under old process that's been in place for a long time so we can revisit yeah. that sometime this year let's just start the topics for the year yeah. off right now we'll start a little topic uh billboard or leaderboard first one is uh, I know I'll, uh, got to get Mika on for that, but can we talk about your plugin? Because it, it's really what inspired this episode's, uh, topic. And I just think it's the best named plugin that I've like really ever come across for what it does. And I just, it makes me feel happy inside. So can you introduce it? And J uh, Jason, can you show it? Yeah. There it so is. Here, here is Biscotti. Biscotti <laughs> is uh, effectively um, the the joke is that it's it's a, a long cookie that lasts for a very a long, long cookie. Time. 
Yeah. And <laughs> um, basically what Biscotti does is uh, it goes and takes um, the default WordPress login cookie. When you log into a new uh, install of WordPress or when you log into your existing install of WordPress, 14 days is how long you have for that login cookie to last. Um, so if you end up keeping, um, you know, your cookies around a little bit longer than that, sometimes it can get annoying to basically have to like log back into your install, like over and over and over again. Um, so what I did is I made a plugin that basically- You made a long cookie. <laughs> yeah. That gives you- I just you think it's the funniest thing. The opportunity to change your login cookie to either three months, six months, or 12 months. So it gives you, you know, long, longer, longest cookies, uh, effectively. And yeah, I initially well, I wrote the plugin and it just set the cookie value to one year. Uh, mm. But the options, I I, I always kind of wanted to come back and um, you know make the options available to folks. Um, so now that I have. Um, you know, and, and put it in the repository. I mean, it's getting some some positive feedback. Some um, Andy Fragan, friend of the show. Um, you know, a, a few other folks are just like, "Crap, man!" I, like, I'm putting this on all my installs. Tucker was just telling me he's he's got it on a bunch of his. <laughs> I didn't uh, even have to showing... log in. I just went to the I just went to the dashboard and it, I was in. It was it was perfect. Beep, I love it. Yeah. Beep beep beep. Unrelated, if you uh, if you do have a, a cookie that's going stale, you can put bread in the same box with it, and it it will uh, it will make it so it's no longer uh, getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Come here uh, for technology tips and life hacks. Thank it won't you. fix your biscotti, but hey, <laughs> there is that. <laughs> Um, I uh, think this is the, just the cutest little plugin, and it really answers. Um, I just love the name. I'm a, I love the pun, obviously, but it really answers and speak or speaks to, I should say, those little, all these little plugins that um, do something, one little thing. And we've talked about this before, but uh, I think a long time ago, like just do one little thing and do it well. But it's something that makes the process of um, updating or managing or logging in to your WordPress just like easier and better and uh, more, more not more safer, safer in the case of your other little plugin that is still in active use over at WP Engine, which is, what's it called? Using strong passwords. I love that. Well, that name for, is great for too. Strong, for strong, for strong passwords. passwords. Yeah. Cause it just, it's the same thing. It just, uh, it just, um, it says what it does in that case. <laughs> no pun, right. but it forces strong passwords and it just does that one thing and then your people can't, you know, put in an unstrung password. That's While it. I was working at WP Engine <laughs> and, and maintaining that plugin, uh, people, there were a, a large number of users who hated that we basically forced strong passwords. Forced strong, on strong password. Of right. course, but that's the problem. That's literally the, the fact that they hate it means that they would not use a strong password if you did not right. force the strong password. So the fact that they hate it is evidence that you have to use it. Hmm. We also there do is... philosophy here at uh, WP Watercooler. <laughs> if you want to, we could get really existential with that or like some sort of like snake eating its own tail. But uh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> or an, an Ouroboros, is that? That, snake eating? that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Ouroboros. Yeah. So <laughs> um, w one of the things, though, is that uh, now... Uh, WordPress core actually uh, very, it, it doesn't force you, but it very gently prods you. If I, I don't know if you've, uh, if it, for the installs that you don't have that aren't using four strong passwords, um, uh, effectively it says, Hey, this password is not great. Are you sure that you want? Oh, yeah. To you have to, set? you have to click, you have to click, like, I acknowledge that this is weak. That's like literally what you, it says. I, it's not yeah. even like you don't want to use a strong one. It's like you have to click yes, use weak password, which I think has set, I don't know how that translates to other languages. Like there might be different versions of weak, but I think for like in America, at least weak is this, especially for, you know, 
well, for everybody really, you know, saying, oh yeah, I'm weak. That you, it's like you have to like, you have to like, you know, it's like there's there's an emotional component to that, but you have to like knowingly choose to like be less safe. So I think sure. that that's, um, that's a funny thing, but you can still do it. And uh, in, in my case, um, I use strong passwords. And if I'm not using, and if it's clients, then they're on WP Engine for the most part. So, or DreamHost. So I don't know. Is I have DreamHost one. using I have it one yet? to share. So yeah, not they're not all Cospers. Cospers, uh, right? Babies. Yeah. <laughs> so one of one of my favorites is this one called an um, enabled media replace, mm, and mm-hmm. the idea is you can take an image that's already on your site and then um, re-upload it and give it a new name, so that way it can break cache and do all that sort of thing, but still makes it so that you can replace an image that you may be using in multiple places um, on the site. So it's it's really nice, um, and there's some, by name, right? I mean, that's the main thing. Like, it's like yeah, it, it because of the default renaming system, right? The dash one, you know, yeah. it, it you can't like that that like overrides this. Does it do other stuff, or is it literally yeah, just it, that? It does thing? it does that, but it also will um, knock out the background um, on an image. So if you have like a, an image, oh, really? that, uh, yeah, it'll do that. It's got a little um, Canva. A little, yeah, a little, little bit of that. <laughs> just look at it, a little, little hint but of Canva. One of, one it's of the like things the, they say in here is that of Canva. Um, all links pointing to the current file will be updated to point to the new file name. Additional options for the folder to um, put the new name or in the date. So it kind of rearranges. Oh, it so it's not stuff. necessarily renaming the file; it's updating the database. Yeah, it does. It does all. Oh, that. interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so it's, it's really, really, really handy. And it, there's a bunch of options that you can do to kind of um, mess with that a little bit. So yeah, take a look at that one. That one's pretty rad and um, so it has uh, 600,000 installs. So it's good stuff. I love that last updated two months ago vibe. Yeah. I just, you know, you see that and it like gives you like this little like, doo, 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 yay, active development. I get that. Anyway, do you does, is that not normal? Do other people not get that? <laughs> I get that. <laughs> oh, look, oh, it's all updated. Too. They're paying attention. Uh, 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 uh. Um, do you have more? You have another one you want to do? Malone? Um, yeah, or, Cosper or Tucker, does. I mean, I know Cosper, I know Cosper has one. Do, do you I've got one too, us? but I want to hear yours. I'm, I'm, I really want to know. Do you want to tell us yeah, about uh, Wayfinder? He, I, I really do. Um, okay, boy, does good. he? <laughs> boy, howdy. Uh, what Wayfinder does. Um, the and- Molitor? Molitor. That is the most amazing uh, company name I've ever heard. Yeah. Anyway, um, we can talk about that later. Sorry, I got distracted. It is in all caps for those who are not uh, uh, watching the video. It is It is the name of the plugin developer in all caps. It says the Molitor. So. Yes. Just something so, to note. <laughs> what Wayfinder does is it adds... Uh, effectively Ooh. outlines over the blocks that you were using. Good Lord. The block editor in the, the full site editor, like w- whatever you're, you're working on. So if you're editing your site, if you're editing, um, you know, if, if you're editing just a, a page or whatever, um, you can effectively see which block, and especially when it comes to like having nested blocks, things like that. Uh, that I, you are selecting and working with. Uh, I love this. So yeah, I mean, I'm like, oh, I am installing that immediately on on block based sites, obviously. But um, so good. When is this getting adopted into core? I would it's love one of to those see plugins it. where you're like, you're like, shouldn't this? Won't this be? Hmm. What do you think? Yes? No? Maybe so. Please. Please, like, what this makes sense. I it must be in the, must be in the the roadmap somewhere. Maybe. So the, it, so on the bottom there, that's including the um, the class name that's being added to it. Is it, it is. is that is that what's going on? That's so cool. Yeah, and it looks like in those. So in the settings, you can say you know, like for example, if that if for for my uses, well, if I was developing, I would obviously be able to use the classes, but I would want to turn those off for my uh, users. Because yeah, I don't want, you know, they don't. They're gonna be like, "What is that with the underscores or whatever?" Um, but the names of the blocks would be helpful because then you can correlate them in list view. I'm a huge advocate of naming your sections. 
Oh, come on. I was going to I was going to ask Courtney this actually this morning and then I got distracted so I didn't ask her what her favorites were. So we should uh just go to whatever it is. The missing menu plugin. I don't know. I don't know what it is. This is like um when you just uh, hit I'm feeling lucky into Google. You just like type it in. <laughs> like I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> While you guys are looking that one up. Oh, are you ready? Yes. You yeah. you're fast. Okay. Take it away. What is it? <laughs> I feel like we're playing roulette. We're going we're gonna to all figure out what the plugin does while we look at it. Who wants to read the marketing speak? Not me. Frustrated you guys navigating at around the latest WordPress admin <laughs> while building your site? Why does it take so many clicks to get to editor templates? The missing menu <laughs> items for WordPress plugin adds useful editor-related links to the admin navigation. Wait, I really want to read. Wait, hold on. I really want to read that first paragraph. Why does it take so many clicks to get to the editor templates? Who That's are my these people? Impression. Did it? Did it? Did we work? Did it go? I don't know. Um, okay. you, we can look at that, but I want to talk about another one real quick. Will we figure out what that does? Please, please. Um, and this is actually another thing that inspired the. I wonder what all these little plugins that we're all using everywhere. Uh, you know, secretly, our secret, like, reliant on plugins, is I had um, just installed for a client a duplicate post uh, plugin. And I can't remember right now if it was actually duplicate, duplicate this, I can't remember. Anyway, W, what are their names? Awesome Motive just acquired duplicate post, I believe is what the actual plugin is called. Um, and I thought that was really interesting in terms of it being, you know, first of all, that plugin has been around for a really long time and is one of those kind of like utilities that doesn't do much except for, you know, pop a little button up under the quick edit to allow you to duplicate the stuff, right? That seems, seems, it's, it's so tiny that it almost seems inconsequential, but the ability to do that for actually managing content is, exponentially useful like even i mean for water cooler we always use our own our own uh um site as an example i mean i'm not in there doing this but i know it's going to be a lot easier for jason to get copy posts on the show layout each day you know or maybe that's just templates now also maybe we don't need to copy post because they just all have their own templates right there built in so maybe it's mm -hmm. maybe it's moot i don't know hmm. Do you, do either of you, uh, so anyway, point is I started using a different, well, there's many points, but one of the points is I started using a different um, uh, copier plugin. It's mm -hmm. called like copy post instead, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but there are so many of them and I, 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 I have to, I feel like I need to find a new one because um, no offense to the folks at Awesome Motive, I love I love you all. I, I most of them, you know, the ones I know, um, but can't deal with the admin. Can't deal with it. So as yeah, I was trying something... to figure out, could you get, could you make a, a very simple duplicate post plugin that would take over the entire screen? Like all the other <laughs> stuff does. I don't know if they could do that or well, not. Maybe. I know it's just going to have, I, I don't know, but like, how can it not? Because every <laughs> plugin within that ecosystem, you know, it gets its own colored interface. icon. You know, it like really comes and hangs out. Yeah, and right. uh, its its presence is is palpable, and that really causes problems for. I I just think my user, my user's experience, literally my UX, because not my user experience, but their my user's experience, because now they're looking at this icon. Unless I, you know, disappear everything, but. Anyway, yes. so now I, have, I need a new copy plugin and I've been experimenting with them and there's a bunch of them and they all do little things. And I, I think it's fascinating that such a small, tiny, really function yeah. is not is not something that's part of core or like something you could turn on mm -hmm. with, a, you know, a button like in reading or in writing, maybe in the in the writing options. I feel like that could be something that'd be really not complicated on the build out end, but really yeah. simple in the, or like really useful in the experience end. For sure. There is, um, I will, 
um, give a, a, a tip of the cap to, to Yoast has uh, their duplicate post plugin uh, is uh, really, I mean, a, as with Yoast, and I know that, um, you know, we were kind of uh, goofing on awesome motive a little bit for, for, uh, yeah, t for all in good love, admin, oh, love, love hitting, the answer. Hit, hitting everything with, uh, with unnecessary banners and upsells and this and that. Uh, the Yoast duplicate post plugin. I know Yoast has kind of been a little iffy on my doorbell just rang. Um, has been a little. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't the universe agreeing with you. It was like Yoast has been a little iffy. Ding dong. No, I like. I like the folks at Yoast. I I just thought that was funny. That was comedy, not criticism. Yoast is not iffy. They're they're one they're of the solid things beats. I really enjoy about the duplicate post plugin is that it has. Um, something where it allows Ooh. you to either copy to a new draft or then rewrite and republish. Um, a, a, a Interesting. Post. That's an S that's like SEO, like uh, that's, that's got SEO flavor. Like that's a duplicate post with like a little SEO mm -hmm. dashed in there because you're like, you have your content already. Let's upgrade it and republish it and get some of that, that sweet, some more of that sweet, sweet, uh, yeah, that's cool. Google juice. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to take a look at this one because I've played with a couple different ones, and this one seems like a, a pretty um, a neat thing because the fact that when you're looking at a list of posts, um, you can create a new draft or rewrite and republish. I think that that's mm -hmm. really cool. So uh, on the rewrite, my and doorbell re ringing is uh, something that I have to get. So I am going to silently drop out for just a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, bye. -bye. Sounds I'll good. See you in a second. I think I envision um, Cosper as um, like Sandra Bullock in <laughs> was it the, what what the Wire? What not the Wire? What was that movie called? Mm, Where she know. like ordered pizza online and then she like discovered a secret hacking. Hmm. service nobody the net the net that's what it was called uh, yeah yeah anyway I have another one. things from the 90s are cooler I, okay i have another one too so yeah i actually can i real quick i wanted to oh yeah i just wanted to say off that rewrite and republish thing one of the ones that i use is publish press um uh revisions uh. it is this, it, it it performs a similar thing and i also wanted to say that i i uh, used I, I actually skipped over yoast's plugin because of UI, um, like admin takeover stuff as well. Mm. So, yeah. but now yeah. I'm going to go look at it again, see what happens. Sweet. Well, here's mine. This one is called uh, Better Search Replace. Um, I like this. It, you pretty much put in mm. um, a term on the left side, a term on the right side. You pick which tables you want it to do, and then you run a dry run. And that dry run will give you a list yes. of um, things that could potentially be you've been holding yeah. out on me i think and then this is amazing you get, you from, get the, from the admin changes. yep from the admin and wow that's it ta-da you, you that, that is a really run, clean ui you figure out if something's going to break or not and if nothing's going to break then you can tell it to do the um replace and it'll actually replace it and you can do that's case awesome. sensitive and case insensitive so for instance if you misspelled someone's name or you had a company name change or something like that and you just right. wanted to like blast through the whole thing and do all of them and you only wanted to do it in posts and maybe not post meta for some reason you could just select posts you know wp underscore posts and only do it in that table so wow yeah. that's like handy. php admin but like inside the dashboard with mm -hmm. with like a clean uh really limited ui I can't believe yeah. I didn't know about this plugin. Just That's amazing. make sure you run a backup, like with anything. Must, if you're going to do something, make sure you do a backup. But other than this that, this must be part of what they use for because this is from WP Engine, which really uh -huh. they have so many, so many of these kind of little plugins that do like you know all these, you know exactly what we're talking about. Do these like bigger helping things. Um, a lot of theirs also run behind the scenes. They have like some must use plugins that are kind of built in that they do this sort of thing. Um, yeah. I, I think, think that they acquired uh, from delicious brains uh, initially when oh, um, they were the ones running it and then WP engine. Um, when they got ACF. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't. Yeah. I, I somehow um, 
miss this and um, think that would be really handy. But that's that seems like a tool they probably use in their, um, well, at least they definitely do searching for strings and all that stuff when they do their pushing to, um, pushing from staging to production or whatever. So Cosper, that seems this is one that we just talked about. Yeah, I, I I still had you in my ears. I could hear everything. But, uh, awesome. Hear me call you Sandra Bullock then? Yes, yes. Uh, on the net <laughs> is what you were thinking of. Yes, it was the net. The Praetorian we have, Guard. We have three minutes left, Dave. So if you wanted to share, share one, let me know what it is, and I'll pull it up real quick. Well, it was uh, – Publish Press is one we could talk about. I don't uh, – but Publish Press also has a bit of a – UI takeover issue. They have a whole suite, though. Um, yeah, they of Jeez. yeah, they have like a, a whole world the of thing. there. There they are. Um, they kind of have a brand in the way of Yoast. Like Yoast has a very. I, I feel like their their branding has kind of a Yoast vibe to it. Just I mm. think the colors or something. But um, they do have all of these sort of little comp components that. Are, are usually glumped together in some bigger plugins, like for role management and stuff like that. And they um, they separate them out. And so you can bring in different things like managing um, um, capabilities, uh, roles, all that stuff. But yeah. I use them for, it's up there, it's revisions. And yeah, they see there's permissions. There's a lot of them. It's, it's, it's kind of like you can get member a member uh plugin but like in pieces and they do have a you know a pro version as well but they've broken out all these like tiny tiny useful plugins um for uh you know that, that make up like i don't know they extend the yeah. service revisions uh is actually pretty handy it actually makes a custom post type called revisions and then uses that it's it's actually it, it makes a whole other spot i think that the idea of revisions and having additional saved saved archive versions of different um different versions of content is actually part of an eight-year-old ticket on wordpress track Wow. To, to be able to show and like review and look at revisions on the front end. So that yeah. is an area. I don't know that it's like some one to watch considering it's eight years old, but there is some discussion about, um, well, bug fixing is, has been a discussion lately uh, in some WordPress circles. So uh, I think that that would be exciting if that got handled. So. Anyway, yeah, I remember, I remember asking about um, about doing series posts, especially with doing WP Water Cooler, having a series and and having that all set up. And a lot of folks were talking about using that series for um, you know doing you know they they say it as like newspapers, magazines, you know, publishers, mm -hmm. writers, all that stuff. But being able to do something like that, so you can essentially have a little block that says this is part of a series, and here's all the different ones that are there. So yeah, yeah, and like an cool. event calendar not a small plugin has made series as a custom sounds like we're saying series, like from Apple series is cause as a custom post type. Mm. Uh, so that, but that's, that's part of a bigger chunk. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. there's so many to talk about. Tell us your favorite tweet I've us got, at it or I've put it in our discord. One more because we've oh. got uh, about a minute and a half left on the, the little counter. At oh, the that's actual that's true. Here. The actual yeah. clock. <laughs> So I I feel like uh, I can actually squeeze this one in very quickly. Um, it's a little plugin. I went ahead and, and sent it. It is a very little plugin. Uh, <laughs> sent it to our little private chat, uh, Tucker. If you want to pull yep. it up, it is a simple Cloudflare turnstile. Uh, Cloudflare. Uh, I don't um, really love putting so much of the internet behind Cloudflare, um, but this is a very useful uh, service for. Uh, WP login. Oh, for yeah. Basically, it replaces uh, the CAPTCHA um, from uh, like reCAPTCHA, from HCAPTCHA, things like that, with uh, a very simple uh, check that Cloudflare does. You don't even need to like interact with anything. You don't need to fill out a CAPTCHA. It uh, uses some things that are built into your browser, to your operating system. Uh, if you're on a newer version of like iOS or Mac OS, uh, it does a check effectively uh, to help see if you are uh, an actual human uh, as opposed to, um, you know, not. Um, and That's uh, so really, cool. 
it it cuts down on so many login attempts uh, and bot traffic that I'm getting to like my login forms to my um, you know contact forms to things like that. Uh, Elliot Sowersby uh, wrote this. Um, we um, I actually reached out and was like, this thing is cool. Uh, you know, I want to have you on the show to to talk about it. And they were like, you know that. what? It's it's a pretty simple plugin. You know, we don't need to dedicate a whole half hour uh, to this. <laughs> which I I appreciated. Uh, I I thought was like actually like okay cool. But I was like so excited about it at the time. And I have deployed. I this remember to like that. Every- Every one of my sites, and um, I use limit login attempts on my sites to to see like how many uh, bad actors are trying to like log in to my sites, and uh, the number has just cratered since That's I went awesome. ahead and implemented Cloudflare Turnstile. So it's these uh, are this is exactly the the exactly it like these tiny little plugins that like just you know they maybe they weren't getting in anyway, but it just completely like avoids that right it it doesn't it, does, it avoids people being annoyed at your you know your captcha it annoys it, it you know prevents the bots from coming in and just it just stops those things from happening so it just reduces friction yeah. and makes the process so much smoother it's there's 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 definitely more that one's a great one i love it also i love that name i just picture I, like people like clicking in boop, boop. <laughs> right like I like looking, looking into your for, website. I like looking for fire hydrants, though. It, it sucks that I can't do that now with this plugin. <laughs> uh, you know, where where is the fire hydrant? I'm like, how am oh, I going to showcase my wall, truck though. knowledge? Right, it's like a little know, right? puzzle in the middle of your day. You know, it's like for your brain. It keeps you. It keeps you sharp. <laughs> they should just add and that then to and it. then when you don't find all the fire hydrants or trucks, you're like, am I a robot? <laughs> <laughs> Is, wait, is that, that a mountain or is that a foothill? I can't tell. With that, we are out. <laughs> Here's our outro. Mwah. Happy New Year. Listen to us on Spotify, on Stitcher, on Podcasts, on Apple Podcasts, on Google Podcasts, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, ugh, on uh, Facebook. I don't think we're on Mastodon yet. Live? Maybe.